Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 2018 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport Convertible 2LT in Watkins Glen Gray on black leather interior. Uh, so we'll start over at the rear of the vehicle. We'll let you have a look at the trunk area on this one. Uh, so nice size trunk on the convertible here. It is designed by GM to hold two sets of golf clubs. Uh, so as you can see, it opens up there on the sides. Um, probably not your touring bags, but definitely your carry-on bags. Uh, this in the front here is a partition that covers the convertible top. So when the convertible top is in the up position, you can lower that, giving yourself more through space in the trunk. Uh, down in the bottom here, we do have a storage compartment. And we'll close this up. It does have soft close, so I'll simply press and it will pull itself shut. We've got the nice carbon flash metallic rear spoiler with the side winglets. Uh, we've got the nice LED taillights, carbon flash surrounds around the taillights, uh, the nice chrome badge package, and we've got MPP performance exhaust. So the two outer ports do have dampers on them that open and close electronically based on your setting to make the exhaust louder or quieter. So we'll just shift around this side. I'll let you have a look at the rear wheel. This has the nice bright silver wheels on it. We've got the two piece rotors and the nice black calipers and Michelin tires on there as well. Uh, along this side here, we do have nice carbon flash metallic side skirts. At the passenger door panel, you've got nice baseball stitching. We've got power windows, power locks, electronic door release, and the nice 10 speaker Bose stereo. Um, for the seat, I'll show you here, it has power up, down, uh, fore and aft, uh, power recline, lumbar and side bolster adjustments. And we'll just go ahead and scan up that seat so you can see the condition. Awesome, so as we get in, just have a look in the door frame. It's nice and tidy. We'll check out the glove box here. Um, so we've got the wheel lock key there. We've got the books with this one. We have the nice baseball stitching on the lower as well as on the upper. We have heated and cooled seat control for the passenger, passenger temperature display, and passenger temperature control. Have a look at the dash while I'm on this side. It's in good shape. And now we'll just hop out and we'll close this side up. I'm just gonna step to the back of the vehicle and we'll scan along this side of the car so you can see the condition. And at the front here, we've got the nice Grand Sport logo uh, with the carbon flash metallic vent. There's your front wheel. So again, nice uh, bright silver wheels. We've got the two piece rotors, um, black calipers and nice Michelin tires. Under the hood, we've got a V8 6.2 liter motor, which is 460 horsepower. And that's paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. As you can see, everything is nice and neat and tidy under here as it should be. Down in the corner, we do have our dry sump oil system here. We do have the cable that goes to the strut tower for the mag ride. Uh, with the Grand Sport, you also get the rear diff cooler and the transmission cooler. There's the hood blanket with the nice embossed Corvette logo. And there is two keys there with this one as well. So we'll go ahead, we'll close the hood and I'll just move around to the front. So from the front, we've got the nice black housing, projector HID headlights, LED daytime running lights, LED turn signals. We've got the nice uh, lower chin spoiler. It's in good shape. A few little minor marks here. As you can see, there's a little bit of scuffing there, um, but uh, overall it's in pretty good shape. So we'll, uh, we'll do our best to kind of shave that uh, little scratch off there, make, clean it up a little bit for you. We've got the uh, nice uh, front curve view camera. So there's one there. There's one over here on this side. And again, the nice chrome badge package. Uh, here's the carbon flash metallic vent. And I'll just take a close look here, um, point out some any of the imperfections. So there's a little stone chip there, um, a little tiny, tiny pinhead size one there. And looks like, nope, that's, uh, looks like that's it. So there might be something else somewhere that I don't see, but uh, those are the ones that do stand out. So again, we'll go ahead and touch those up when we polish the car for you. So we'll move around. There's your other front wheel. So again, nice bright, bright silver wheels, two piece rotors, black calipers and nice Michelin tires. And same thing here on the back. Fantastic. So we'll move up to the driver's side door. So again, we've got our power windows, power locks. We've got two user programmable memory. We have a programmable exit button. We have our 10 speaker Bose stereo, nice baseball stitching on the door. Here's the kick plate on the driver's side. Uh, so there's a little bit of minor scuffing on the plate. We'll polish it. We'll make it look the best we can for you. For the power seat, you've got power four, aft, up, down, power recline, lumbar, and side bolster adjustments. And I'm just gonna scan that seat so you can see the condition. Awesome, so as we get in, just have a look in the door frame. It's nice and tidy. And we'll get in, we'll fire this one up. So in terms of kilometers, 
we have 19,175. Uh, no warning lights or issues there on the dash. Over here we do have our cruise control buttons. Down below is favorites or track change for the radio. On this side here we've got our volume control. Up here is our arrow keys which work the dash. That gives us info, performance, audio, phone, nav, and options. We have telephone hang up, uh, telephone answer, um, paddle shifters plus and minus. Uh, over here is our power mirror control. We've got our heads up display, convertible top control, trunk release, and motion alarm on and off. Uh, and here is our power tilt and telescopic steering column. And I'll just show you the uh, heads up display there on the windscreen. So there it is, we can move the image and we can change the information that's displayed on that image as well. Uh, so I'll just press that button there so you can see there's a few different screens. Um, and you can also change the uh, brightness of the image as well. So that's great. Uh, over here is our push button start. And then we have behind screen storage with a USB port. So we'll close that up and uh, audio. So you got AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth streaming, USB auxiliary line in, telephone controls for Bluetooth. You've got projection, which is Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on a supported phone. So you can actually mirror your phone on the screen by plugging it in with a USB. Uh, here's our navigation. So full factory nav, PDR. So you've got a performance data recorder. So what that is, there's actually a camera just up here in front of the rear view mirror in that uh, little spot there. And uh, that will record your driving to an SD card that you can buy and place in the glove box. So a very neat feature. Uh, over here, we've got our front curb view cameras and uh, we'll press this one, there's your reverse camera. So those do come on automatically. If I put it in reverse, there's your camera. And if I put it in drive, there's your front cameras. Down below, here's our climate control. So this is the pa or driver's temp, passenger temp, and again, there's uh, controls for the passenger just over here. Heated and cooled seat for the driver down below and heated and cooled seat for the passenger. There's your nice brand sport placard. And here's your eight speed automatic shifter, uh, mode selector, electronic parking brake. We've got a 12 volt socket. We've got a cup holder here. And the mode selector, I'll just show you there. So right now it's in sport mode. If I twist that, we get track, weather, eco, um, touring, we're back to sport mode. So that changes some of the driving characteristics. And then in here we have two USB ports, auxiliary line in and a 12 volt socket. There's your frameless auto dimming rear view mirror. Um, there's your home link rem uh, garage buttons and auto dimming driver's side mirror. So since this is a convertible, I'll go ahead and put the top up so you can see the operation. exhaust open and I'll just get out and I'll show you here from the front with the headlights on there it is nice and sharp looking and we'll just scan along this side of the vehicle so you can see the condition and I'll just stop and I'll show you the roof no rips or tears or issues there looks good and here it is from the back Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport Convertible 2LT Watkins Glen Gray. You're going to be able to LemonRealMotors.com. Come on down and have a look at this one for yourself. Look forward to seeing you real soon.